Hi, I'm Betsy Hughes with Track Shack in Orlando, Florida. We've been fitting runners and walkers for their perfect shoes since 1977. In this video, I'll be talking to Adam. I'll be asking him about his running goals, sharing some important tips, and then I'll fit Adam for his shoes. Hey, hey, welcome to Track Shack. Well, thank you. I uh, have bought a lot of running shoes in my time, and I've never been fitted, and I hear that's what you need to do. Well, that's what we do best, and I'm thrilled to see you brought your old running shoes with you. So let's go have a seat and okay. get started. So you've got some big goals ahead of you. I do. I've got a half marathon coming up, and uh, I'm going to do a whole marathon as well, and then I've got a lot of 5Ks and 10Ks in between. Oh, gosh. Well, it's super important then we find you the right shoes. Yes. Have you had any foot injuries, knee injuries, anything it's aching, received. foot pain, leg pain? Yeah, my feet, when I lay down to go to sleep at night, they mm -hmm. hurt. They don't hurt while I'm running, but they hurt at night. Probably your calves are a little bit tight. You should do some stretching because that can make your arches a little tight, too, and cramp up at night. You brought your old shoes. I did. I did. Okay. I bought a pair. I have an A6, and I have a New Balance Okay. As well. What did you spend most of your miles in? Of oh, the New Balance. All right. And I see that it's tied. Yes. Does that mean you kicked the shoe off without untying it? <laughs> yes. Are you guilty? I am. Am I in trouble? Oh, yes. That track check, we teach our customers to always untie their shoes. So Super bad, important. Huh? Actually, I'll give you some shoe tips when you leave to remind you. That's okay. how important it is. Okay. The heel counter is a very important part of the equation, and if you're constantly kicking your shoes off, then you're not you know, taking care of your shoes. We okay. want them to last as long as possible. But these do have some miles on them. Yep. I can see it's tilted over a little bit. Okay. Um, so that tells us, you know, perhaps what side of the road you're running on. It can say, you know, maybe this was a little bit more support. The wear patterns, you know, it's pretty equal. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be able to tell more when we when we see your feet and okay. watch you walk. Go ahead and do a couple cuffs on your pants okay. and take your shoes off for me. Okay. All right, so at this point, if you just do a little walk, okay. um, and I'm going to do it with you. That just helps keep you relaxed. All right. Um, and I'm going to look at your feet. You're not. Uh, okay. All right, if you look over me, I can get a better view of what I'm looking at with your feet. Okay, that's awesome. Just stop right there. Okay. And that's sort of a natural stance, like when you're going out to do a run. Mm -hmm. So at this point, just bend your knees for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> so remember you told me about your feet cramping? Right. Someone's got some tight calves. Okay. Bend those knees again. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> your heels are going right up. Right. Okay. You've got to do your stretching like we talked about. And I promise your feet will feel better at night. Okay. You've got to stretch on your calves. And that can be foam rolling. It can be wall push-ups. Whatever you're comfortable with. But you've got to do it. Um, and mostly after you run. Okay. All right. So if you don't mind, I want you to raise one foot at a time for me. Okay. Great. Good. Other foot. All right, so what I'm looking at here is I'm looking at your ankles, your arches. You can put it down now. Okay. I'm also looking at the shape of your foot, and your foot is quite wide. Yes, fat feet. No, no, no. We don't say that F word at Track Shack. It's <laughs> no. all about wide. A wide feet. Yes, okay. and all our shoes come in widths, which makes a world of difference. Okay. All right, so if you don't mind, would you walk to the wall? I'm just going to get an idea of what your feet do. And when you come back, do it just a little quicker. That's more like a running, yeah. And then once we get you in the shoes, I'm actually going to watch you run because that'll make a big difference. Okay. We're going to measure both feet, so you choose one. All right, and then I want you to evenly distribute your weight. There you go. Awesome. Now I'm going to measure the other foot. That's awesome. All right, super. Good. So that gives me an idea um, about your size. And we definitely need to go to a wider shoe. Yes. So um, when I go in the back, I'm going to bring several out. It's always important to try several shoes on. All right, so this is the A6 Nimbus, and I think this has high hopes for you. And okay. it's important that we put it on your long foot first. Okay. And when you put on a good athletic shoe, it's always important to secure your heel. So okay. literally do a gentle tap back before you tie. Okay, like that? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then tie it snug but not tight. Snug but not tight. Right. Let's see if you can do it twice. <laughs> okay. And tap then we'll, back. Mm -hmm, tap back. All right, now stand up because this, we really need to just check your length. You can wiggle all your toes. Yep. Awesome. I think it's time to go for a run and see how they look. Let's go outside. Great. You hit the ground just the way we like to see a runner hit the ground. That's it's great. perfect. These are perfect. I love them. Do I have to get fitted every time? I would recommend it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, perfect. These are great. I love them. Good, good. There we go. All right, well, I'll box them up and we'll get you those shoe tips I promised you. Great, thank you so much. Uh -huh.